What was your reaction when Mr. Churchill died? Uh, well, I felt that uh, we'd never see his like again. Uh, at least I won't. And I'm pretty sure that many of the people in the queue here won't, too, even the children. What did Churchill mean to you? Uh, he was a man, in my opinion, at the age of 69, I believe, when actually uh, most people have retired, that took over the leadership of the government and stood and led us to victory in 1945 against what seemed impossible odds. Were you in London during the war? No, I was in Burma. What did you feel when Sir Winston Churchill died? A great friend of mine who was a psychic, deeply psychic, she said, well, when is alive, we feel that nothing can happen to us. I felt a great sense of personal loss. I feel his influence will, will last, go on and on. Did you ever see Sir Winston? I've seen Sir Winston twice. I came to have tea on the terrace of the House of Commons when he was a young man, just before he was engaged to, engaged to be married. I had tea with Lloyd George uh, on the terrace, and Lloyd George came and spoke to us, and then we came out of the door. Winston came in, so I was face to face with him there. Then I live in George Street, and I was, uh, Anthony Eden has a house, had a house in Fitz Adam Street, Fitz Harding Street. And I, Winston Churchill and Anthony Eden had just come out of the house of standing on the pavement, and I passed as close as I am to you now. What impressed you most about him? Oh, I think was, I, I think he was an instrument who was used from the great beyond for preventing this world to, to go down into perdition. 